Courtesy Congrats. of Brentling.com slash star, 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 star. That's exciting. Welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, wow. I mean, you know, I'm going to throw, throw another plug from a mythical shoe. Keep that in a safe place. Limited edition. Man, what? We got it. We shouldn't have given this away, man. Look at how pretty it is. Um, all right, so um, I'm gonna mention I'm gonna mention Linda here. Yeah, because this week's Linda Good Mythical f- More is Linda. brought to you by Linda.com slash more, more, more. But just one more. Is uh, you, you guys you guys know the deal. You want to learn something, go to Linda.com slash more, get free 10 day trial, courtesy of us, learn some stuff, become convinced that it is the best place to get uh, video guidance through the things that you need to learn. For example, game design. Um, Learn how to make games in Flash. It says right here on the site, Maya 3D. Why play games? I don't know what any of these are, 3DS When you Max. can make games. We don't have to know, but we, they, we need, know. they definitely need to know. You guys need to, you guys need to uh, make some games. You know what, you could, you, could do, you could do the normal thing and you could like go to school and get like an English degree and then get out and, and work at Pizza Hut. Uh, or you could go learn how to make games and become like the next guy that comes up with Farmville, just <laughs> without the part with the whole thing that went wrong and went real bad, you know, the Zynga thing. The first part of Farmville, like the first thing that happened with that, that could be you, just not the second part. I didn't even know about the second part of Farmville. The second part, it went shoo, but he came back, now he's the CEO again and the stock went down. It's just. You're following this? I, the Farmville news? It's not the Farmville news, it's like the national news. L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash more. That slash more for your ten. Learn ten, how to do something. Dollars. Change the world. Ten, not not ten dollars. Ten day free trial. Uh, uh, also, uh, want to remind you, uh, we only have a couple of days left for them to be able to vote uh, for, for the Webbies. Again, we were nominated in three different categories: two for a Good Mythical Morning, and then one for our uh, Nerd versus Geek uh, Epic Rap Battle. We really kind of want to win. I'm just going to be honest. Yes, we need you to vote. Uh, you can vote once, I think. The three links are in the Once description. per category. Vote for each of the three categories. You can vote for other categories too that we're not in. Vote for anyone in those. Appreciate you doing that. Now, we um, we just talked about fitness and I do need to say that, you know, 2015 has been the year of fitness for me. I refitnessized myself this year. Uh, I actually did the thing that I never thought I would do. I got a gym membership. We're not halfway through the year. Joined so. a class. Hey, but you know what? I've already witnessed the drop off. In fact, I went to oh. my class. You're talking about pounds? Which is, at, uh, which is before 7 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I've wit, no, not pounds, not personally. I've witnessed the drop off. You were saying, we're only halfway through the year as if you're not gonna make it through the year is what you were implying. No, I believe in you. And so I've already witnessed the class size go from about 20 oh. to literally a couple of weeks in a row, it was like two or three people. Sounds because awkward at the, this point. The January enthusiasm waned and now the OGs are there. Me and a couple other guys. But if one of them's name was Wayne, that would be kind of ironic. Hmm, because it had waned? Is that what you're getting at? Well, if you don't get it, Rhett. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Um, when you break it down, it's not as funny, but that was it. But uh, this class is a, is a, um, it's one of those classes where you, you've take, you've done the P90X, you did that in January and then you stopped. But, <laughs> um, That's not true. You, <laughs> you've done like P90X, which is, you know, it's basically very unpleasant aerobics and light weights for about half an hour. This is basically that for an hour. And I didn't make it through the first couple of classes. I didn't vomit and I didn't pass out, but I thought that both of those would happen. I did at one point just end up kind of running in place for about 15 minutes. Even though no one else was. And they all continued. Uh, I have g- seen people walk out though. If you're gonna vomit and pass out, you need to do it in that order. It's very important. <laughs> Don't do it in the other order. Cause you might choke on your own vomit. Yeah, when Miss Dean was keeping that guy Joe, he was like three years older than me and he like brought in all the rap tapes that had like the naughty words on it. Did he pass out and vomit? He'd just taken a nap. And he vomited like right, like spewed out of his mouth, he had like a dream he was, vomit. He was on his back, <laughs> and he dream he dreamt vomit. You can't dream vomit. That is bad news. All well, around. it was real vomit, but he was it in was a dream dreaming. state, yeah. and it was very dangerous. I remember uh, Miss Dean yelling, "Someone roll him over!" Yeah, you got to roll him. And over. And I'm thinking, 
that someone is not me. Not me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, roll, you know, I don't want to roll over a vomiting person roll towards them away, me. Roll them away from you. And why can't you come over here and roll them? You're Did the one you getting paid, Miss Dean. Did you save him? Uh, God rest her soul. <laughs> Miss Dean is now dead. Yeah, but. But it didn't, it wasn't in conjunction but Robbie's with not dead. What's jo his name? Joe. Joe. I, I lost track of Joe. After that happening, I cared nothing about Joe. Oh wow! I don't mean to come and do your story. How, you how is did, it going though. for you? It was uh, just I was just thinking about the vomit. It may, I, you know, it makes me feel alive. I enjoy it. Um, how awkward has it gotten? I mean, if you're saying there's only two other people in the class, I think it's something to do with how tall I am. I was made fun of by the instructor for several weeks in a row. Can you give me more details? <laughs> it was like. Uh, Lots of, it's, it's a co-ed class, that means there's men and women. And in mo most days there's more women than men. Um, some, but then when people drop off, it's usually just, there's like three or four guys who are the ones that never leave, and I'm one of those guys. But then w there are these times when there'll be like 10 women in the class. And I don't know, there was lots of talk about me as if there was like, the instructor was like, lady stay away from him, stay away from I can't remember what he had a nickname for me, like Slick or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm the oldest person in this class and I'm married. He's talking to me like I'm some I'm coming in there to like hook up with all these women. That's <laughs> that, that, that's that's not my intention. And um the most awkward thing that has happened Stay is, away from him. It wasn't that you were like attractive, it was that he thought you were gonna like do something inappropriate. I'm just trying to level your that's, I, I was did I, did I, did I communicate that? No. I, I said I think it's because I was tall. I looked like a, uh, I was gonna assault someone. <laughs> but. Oh, assault someone. The most. That is what. The most awkward thing that has happened. That's not what he was thinking. He was thinking, oh, he's the guy who's like, he puts a lot of attention on his hair. Did you fix your hair before no, you No, I don't fix, I, I literally go, I That's literally good. go okay. in there with my hair going uh, whatever way it was when I woke up. I don't think you would assault anybody. Uh, maybe take that's back. what it is. Maybe I look like a dangerous person when I my hair is going sideways. But the most awkward thing that's happened is the farting. <laughs> uh, not from me. Oh, really? You don't fart? No, no. I have farted, but not audibly. <laughs> you know how to spread the cheeks? <laughs> no, it's not about spreading the cheeks. It's about holding it back or knowing if it's going to be silent or not. <laughs> but. It was if a, you squeeze the There cheek. was a girl in front of me a few, few weeks ago who did not properly manage it. Uh, what do you mean? She let one rip. But then what? How did she not manage it? She let an audible fart. <laughs> but I thought she you didn't. Mean, she, did then not she didn't have manage diarrhea. It. She did not have <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is sometimes you wake up, you know, and you wake up that early and you roll out of bed and you go to the gym, you don't know what kind of day it is yet in terms of flatulence. So I mean, sometimes you're like, man, today is a crazy day. What did I eat last night? You know, that's how, what guys are thinking when they wake up. They're like, what kind of day is this gonna be in terms of flatulence? <laughs> and uh, when the first place you go is Like a, a weather report. Is, is, a, is a, a co-ed gym class, mm. you gotta be sensitive about these things. And there's been a couple of days where I walk in there and I'm like, this is a bad day. And then you're on the ground doing these like ab exercises and really squeezing your body like an accordion. And what's gonna happen? It's gonna come out one end or the other. And uh, <laughs> there have been some really close calls for me personally. Uh, but I've managed it pretty well so far. I mean, at I some point. Mo most of my concentration in the class is, is dedicated to not farting audibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're sweating. <laughs> Sometimes the music gets pretty loud though. And I have let some give, go. Give a, <laughs> give a little. I have let some go during You that. gotta time it with that subwoofer. Is there a subwoofer <laughs> in that? All of a sudden there's a sub. You know, it's usually one of those rap songs with the horns in them. Really? Like a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta sync up with the horns. Oh wow, Darulo. That's how it works. <laughs>